Hello guys, this is my first YouTube video. I'm Mosslog and the part of the team called Mosslog and T Bears. And my first video is going to be on In Next Life, which is an indie game made by the devs called by the dev team Jewel Decade. And I will just be showing you how to play. I've already played on the Tamago Island server, so I'll be hopping on Hoax Island just to show you how to make fires, how to do all that cool stuff. And this is what the starting screen looks like. It's pretty cute. I love the little baby. <laughs> I've got tea bags in the room with me so that I'm more natural with talking. Oh yeah, this is me. So this is food, and this is your food bar, this is your stamina, and this is your health. And if you run out of your food, your health will start going down. Which is pretty obvious, that's what happens in real life too. And now I've got to find stuff. You need these dead branches. And you also need this for later on things. And I need to find a nice place to start our camp. Otherwise, we're going to be royally screwed up. Like, super royally screwed up. If we don't find a great place. I wish that tea bags was here because he would be fun to listen to because he's really funny. He makes me laugh all the time. He's even making me laugh right now. Oh yeah, we'll be needing this. The saplings. Those are real good. You use the sharp stone to cut them up. And we also need flint nodules, which are these egg looking things. You can't eat them, like see. Otherwise, you'll break your teeth and there's no dentist in the game yet. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, this game is early access, so, you know, there's not going to be as much stuff as you'd like there to be, but it's still pretty good, like, hands down, it's still real good. It's got a lot of potential. I was, and also the Jewel Decades team, they're real nice to talk to. Like, they were talking to me last night, telling me how to, you know, do things. And also other players, like, the community is real nice. And they're also supportive. The devs were supporting me, you know, telling me that I should go ahead and make the video. Oh yeah, what I done here was make flint uh, shards, which will help you cut this. And what else do I need? We need to eat these eggs and then we need to take the dry um yes pieces to the camp that we've got set up right here. As you can probably tell, I'm nervous, but I'll become more natural and relaxed as we make more videos. It's just that this is my first one. Now, what I'm doing here is finding reeds, like these things right here, to make um, baskets. You need eight reeds. You can tell how many you've got by looking at this or just by counting in your head, which is what I do. And you can do this and then this. And then you plop the basket down right there.
to take this. I'm just bringing this with me on an adventure. It's going to be my friend Wild Tea Bags isn't here. Place that down on the ground to make kindling. You need a. Oh, we need pyrite rocks. Here's pyrite right here. As you can see, pyrite. And you grab your flint shard and your pyrite to then um, start the fire. Which you put the kindling on. And that's your fire, which will help you with the rest of the game. And now we need to make a cooking pit, which you can make by right clicking on the ground to dig a hole. Oh yeah, keep an eye out on your hunger. That's a dug pit, then it will become a cooking pit once we make another basket. But first I've got to eat, otherwise I'm going to sub to death as you see. Oh, as you can see. I know that there's going to be a lot of editing done on this just to make it less grating for you to watch. Since I forgot to bring the flint shard with me, I'm quickly making some flint shards. Oh yeah, you can sprint using shift. We'll come back for this later because we will need this to make a water bowl gourd. They're also a good source of food late game. Well, not late game, but you know what I mean. Now we've got our second basket. We need to quickly find a for a jungle I mean so that we can get leaves to make into leaf baskets. From what I've gathered, every island is different and they also get wiped every two days or every 48 hours. And I think that's just to keep the content fresh for people at the moment because there's not too much to play with because it's early access, but there's still enough for it to be enjoyable. Oh gosh, I'm going to start starving to death. That's not good. Now I need to go find that gourd.
I'm glad that Teabags is the editor out of the both of us so that I don't have to hear my voice because I know they'll hate listening to it. Oh yeah, now we need to do this, like take a few goes, a few tries, but that's how everything is, oh yeah, go take this, the gourd which will become a water bottle, which it has, you can tell by the colour change, and we must fill it up, then take it back up to the cooking pit, which we made using that basket. There goes one, one um, pot of water. You need two lots of water or two pots, whatever. I don't know why I'm saying it. <laughs> and now we need to make a set of tongs so that we can heat up this round stone to then put into the pit to make some fibers which will help you with everything else like with making new tools like spears, poles, sickles, um, axes, knives I'm not that prepared, <laughs> I'm just improvising as I speak to you. Now we're going to make some noodles. Well that's why I call them because they look like noodles. Or ramen, as the Americans would say. Ember, one of the devs in from the Dual Decades team was talking to me last night. They are very nice. They're a very friendly team, Dual Decades, Christopher and Ember. The others are probably really nice too, but those are the devs that I've talked to. And the community is also friendly, like we all work together, it's all friendly. And I love that about this game. But I know that there's going to be a lot of potential if you love working with other people. Nikon berries don't fill you as much as Tamago's. It uses stamina to eat to pick things. And I think it would be nice if there was less stamina used just so that you can eat real fast. Oh yeah. To make um, knife blades for tools, you're going to have to take a flint nodule and you're going to have to put it in the fire and then use your tongs to pick it up and put it back down and wait for it to cool down so that you can crack it open. Now I'm going to go gather some more so that we can make lots of tools. Oh yeah, and to fish out your rock that you put in the cooking pit, because it's not lost forever, you use your tongs 
and you just click on that cooking pit with all the water we're going to have to grab some more saplings to make the pulsicle and the sphere I've played this game for about 20 hours and there's not that many people yet because it's early access but like I've been saying over and over again it's got so much potential and I know for a fact that it's got potential because I've played a similar game to In Next Life one hour, which is One Hour One Life and that had potential but I would say that this game easily has more potential than One Hour One Life because the dev team works together really well and they do care about the game and they aren't making updates that will make it harder to play this game and they're not making updates that will make it hard to work together and all that. Now we've got a spear! I'm so happy! That's going to help us kill things. I'm not excited about killing the animals because the animals in this game are really cute. So it's hard killing them, but we need them for food and we need them for pouts to make clothing. Mind me as I struggle to remember how to make something, how to make the pulsicle. Oh yeah, if you forget and you really need to remember how to make something, you right click and then you click this and it should open up the items and crafting and you can scroll all the way down and you've got to look back this way to see the steps on how to create this so you've got to be holding this and this and then you've got to have the flint blade on the ground to make the pole sickle. And I'll show you what it's for. I really, really like this tool because you get some pretty good foods using it. And mind the cat that you hear in the background. It's my lovely cat, Toots. She's a sweetheart, my cat, Toots. She's got a cute wee meow. Oh yeah, this is the wisdom tree fruit and you right click on it as usual. Sorry about the lag. It's because I'm in my room and I don't have a Wi-Fi extender. And someone may have even joined. Oh gosh, I might starve. It gives you so much food. Oh yeah, and to name yourself, you just right click on your avatar. Then you click the pencil emoji thing, the pencil icon, and then you type your name in. And I'm going to name myself Moss because that's my name. And it's done. And in order to have babies, you have to have an Adam and you have to have an Eve. And more people have to join. Oh, you can't pick up bananas with a pulsicle in your hand because you're going to have to leave one or the other behind. So I'm just going to cut a bunch of bananas so that I can come back for all of them later on and not have to leave my pulsicle behind because it's a very valuable tool. I really love it. But it won't be replacing tea bags.
Oh yeah, and you've got to let your stamina refill, which has consequences like your needing to eat, just like in real life. Luckily, we're in a jungle full of food. And I've also noticed that if you eat and then you eat and the bar goes down a slight bit and you can see the lighter shade of green and then you eat after that, it will give you more food. I'll have to wrap up this recording soon because I've got real life stuff to do. But this will give us a good place to leave off with, like to end with. And it should have enough content for Mr. Teabags to cut and to edit. And then to put up so that people can watch. And I hope that if you've enjoyed this video that you like and that you subscribe for more content in the future. And we'll be more confident because we'll start to have a grip on creating it. But I think this is a good start because why not make a video on an early access game while you're in early access of making YouTube videos because you'll grow with the game and you know it's just nice Oh yeah, I can't run anymore because my stamina has gone down, so I've got to let it recover or recuperate, whatever word you want to use. And it appears as if I've lost my base, but I'll find it. Yep, I found it. I'll show you how to make cans. Cans? Cans? I don't know how to say it. In the next episode. So that you don't lose yourself. Oh, aloe. They should make edible aloe or aloe gel in the future. Like, you know how those TikTokers cut up the aloe and they eat it? I think that the Jewel Decades team should add that. Because that would be nice. It would be a lovely add on to eat aloe and it'll give it a purpose and I think that they should make um, flowers cuttable so that you can make a bouquet to give it to someone in the game. I'd be giving tea bags for bouquets all the time if he plays with me but we've got to sort out his PC or figure out a way so that he can be able to run this game because his laptop is about seven years old yeah seven years old maybe even a bit older nine maybe yeah actually nine nine is more realistic almost 12 i mean almost 10 well i'm going to end the video so I hope you guys enjoyed it, or at least found some kind of pleasure from watching this. It was nice, but also anxiety wrenching making a video, knowing that the world's going to see this. And if you do like this, just hit that like button and maybe subscribe. It's up to you. Have a good day, evening, night, 
afternoon, dawn, morning, whatever, and goodbye.